Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Monday, June 20th, 2022. I am Fredicia Leibert. The contestants who will compete in the Culturama 48 senior pageants were introduced to the public on Saturday evening, June 18th, during a reveal party held at the David Freeman Center of Excellence. Four participants will compete for the title of Mr. Cool. Courage is one thing one must have. I am your participant number one, Dylan Smitten, sponsored by the Ministry of Agriculture. Buenos noches, mi amigos. Greetings, Nevis. I am Mr. Nevis Culturama Committee, your boy, Shenroy Joseph. Participant number two, who will be competing for the Mr. Cool's title. Vitality, vigor, chocolate smooth like caramel. Greetings, Queen City Nevis. I am your star pick, Dwayne Smith. Participant number three, honored to be sponsored by the Nevis Tourism Authority. Unable to attend Saturday evening's reveal party was participant number four, Mr. Rocco Brown, sponsored by the Nevis Cultural Development Foundation. The Mr. Cool contest will take place at 8 p.m. on July 26th. As is customary, it will be twinned with the Miss Culture Swimwear pageant in which four contestants will vie for the title. I am Miss Nevis Solid Waste Management Authority, Chantel Leslie. Please help me welcome you to fete and celebrate Nevis Culturama 48. Nevis Culturama 48 is ready to operate July 26 at the Cultural Complex where you will see me Melissa Gums, contestant number two, powered by Stella's Engineering. Skin, like milk and golden honey, eyes brighter than 1,000 spotlights. With the body of a goddess is your beauty number three, Miss Sherquania Jeffers, elated to be sponsored by Caribbean Digital Display. Save the best for last. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Kelia English, your contestant number four, proudly sponsored by Flo. This year, five contestants will vie for the coveted Miss Culture Crown. I am your known ambassador, contestant number one in this year's edition of the Miss Culture Queen pageant. Who am I? Yes! You've guessed it, it's Nevision Strong, Sensio Williams, undeniably sponsored by the Nevis Electricity Company, Nevlek. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Shelly Smithen, ambassador number two, proudly sponsored by SL Hosfords and Company Limited. Generously sponsored by the St. Kitts Nevis Angola National Bank. I am your contestant number three, your Nivision Empress, 18 year old Shamali Newton. Generously sponsored by the Nevis Housing and Land Development Corporation, I am the honorific delegate number four, Chalissa Paris. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am Raquel Hendrickson, your contestant number five. <laughs> Proudly sponsored by my sponsor, Flo. The Miss Culture pageant is slated for 8 p.m. on July 31st at the Cultural Complex. The Culturama 48 contestants reveal party can be viewed in its entirety on Facebook pages of Nevis Television and Nevis Culturama Festival. Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Mark Brantley, commended the level of innovation seen during Nevis Culturama's festival over the years. And I think evolution is part of our human existence. And we have introduced over the years new things. I, I, I think, for example, of the Poets in the Square, which has become now a staple, but a very welcomed addition, giving us another facet, if you will, to our culture. I think about the changes that have been made this year to put more on the weekend of what the events that it appears, particularly our younger people, are more attracted to and to start as it has been referred to the Power Week off in style with our Kaiso competition. So the Culture Armor Committee and the government, we continue to try to innovate, to bring new 
and exciting ideas to the fore and to allow our people really to enjoy an excellent festival. Premier Brantley was speaking at the media launch of Culturama 48 that took place on Friday, June 17, 2022 at the Malcolm Gishad Recreational Park. Premier Brantley, who was at the time speaking on behalf of the Minister of Culture, the Honorable Eric Evelyn, invited persons specifically from the sister island of St. Kitts to support the festival. Let me at this point extend the invitation to all of our individual brothers and sisters in the diaspora, but also, of course, to our brothers and sisters in St. Kitts. You know, during the pandemic, we did something that was quite interesting. We invited more people from St. Kitts to come and see this part of their country. And they came in droves. They came in so much, so high numbers that we are now seeing lots of fets from St. Kitts being staged on Nevis and attracting huge crowds. I believe that we now have that culture, which we've always had, but perhaps now enhanced, of people from Nevis supporting events on St. Kitts and those from St. Kitts supporting events on Nevis. And so I'm inviting all of our Kittishan friends, brothers and sisters to come over and be a part of Culturama and be a part of the various shows and the various activities over here and to ensure that we have a wonderful Culturama. And I can assure them that this weekend we will have them, the people of Nevis, going over in droves to St. Kitts for the Music Fest and for all the activities over there because we support each other and that is as it should be. Nevis Culturama Festival runs from Thursday, July 21st to Tuesday, August 2nd, 2022. The Department of Agriculture is inviting members of the public to partake in its fruit festival, which is scheduled to be hosted on Friday, July 29th at the DR Walwyn Plaza in Charlestown. Speaking on the main attractions behind this year's festival, Steve Reed, Chief Extension Officer in the Department of Agriculture, invited our island's fruit lovers to join in the activities. This event will be running from 9 a.m until 7 p.m. in the evening. So I'm encouraging the general public to come on out and support your local farmers and agro-processors. Our main attractions, as usual this year, will be a cake-making competition where there will be three categories, plain, dark fruit, and cheesecake. We will also be having a ice cream competition where the main ingredient will be our famous mangoes right here on the island of Nevis. So come on out, see the, con the participants sample some of these great products, especially the ice cream, mango ice cream, it's a bomb. So come on out and support. That will be the 29th of July from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. I'll see you there. Persons interested in entering the fruit cake or cheesecake making competitions should note that their cake must have at least one fruit incorporated as a wet or dry ingredient. Those interested in participating in the ice cream making competition should note that their entry will be observed by judges over a five minute time period. The ice cream should have a distinct mango flavor and color, smooth texture, an appropriate level of sweetness, and be presented via an appropriate container or serving dish. Creativity should also be evident. To register for the competitions or for additional information on the festival, contact the Department of Agriculture at 469-5521, extension 6511. The deadline for registration is Friday, July 22nd, 2022. Still to come, Department of Gender Affairs to host Food Drive. The details right after this break. Celebrate, celebrate.
Welcome back. The Ministry of Human Resources in the Nevis Island Administration, NIA, has received the call for Cuban scholarships for the 2023 academic year. Interested persons are invited to apply as soon as possible as the deadline for the submission of applications to the Ministry of Human Resources is Wednesday, August 24, 2022. A total of nine scholarships are on offer to St. Kitts and Nevis in the following areas. Five for medicine, one for nursing health technology, two for specialization in medicine, and one for a non-medical discipline. Individuals applying for a specialization in medicine must be a graduate with a medical degree from Cuba and may be older than 25 years of age. For the other fields, applicants must be under 25 years of age, must be a high school or college graduate, and must come from a low-income family that is unable to pay for studies. The successful candidates are expected to travel to Cuba to commence their studies in February 2023. For more information on the application process, scholarship requirements and benefits, selection process, and any other relevant concerns or questions, please contact the persons on your screen. The Ministry of Gender Affairs is hosting a food drive. Canned foods, non-perishable items, and school supplies are encouraged and should be dropped off at the Department of Gender Affairs, Upper Government Road, upstairs the GMBC building. Interested persons can contact the department at 469-5521, extension 6750, for further information. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Freddie Stilibert. Thank you for viewing.